What is up you guys? This is your boy and the Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture and Japanese culture. So I guess uh, an interesting piece of news guys. I have an interesting interesting really nice piece of news. So I'm here at usnews.com and it says New York City Anime Convention did not spread Omicron widely. Okay. Now, before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell. Like the video. I'm going to join to get 1,000 subscribers, and I very much appreciate your help. Now. Okay, so we're not going to call it, you know, the... Well, we're going to call this thing that's spreading. We're going to call it the Pokemon virus, okay? That's basically what I've been calling it for a while now, the Pokemon virus. <laughs> because, you know, it evolves. It changes or whatever, right? And I think it's in its third and final evolution. I don't know. Maybe it has a fourth one. Maybe it needs like a thunderstone, a firestone. Maybe it's going to change elements when it evolves. Who knows? Anyway, so here I am, usnews.com. And it says, New York City Anime Convention did not, did not spread Omicron widely. And Omicron is, is the name of the third evolution of the Pokemon virus. Okay? You guys already know what I'm talking about. All right? And this is very interesting because... You know, one of the reasons why we had the lockdowns and all that stuff is because we were trying to prevent people from getting infected. But it looks like the Omicron, or the, despite of the fact they're saying that it spreads faster, an event, a, an event with 53,000 people was not responsible for widespreading it. Very interesting. Now, the reason why I brought up this news is because this shows that perhaps we can have more events we can have more events without having too many restrictions right we can go to anime conventions and you know in these in all these places without you know without having to wear a mask or have or having restrictions or having to do uh you know the uh, without having to um do the whole social distancing too much you know after two years, after two years, you know, I'm pretty sure people need a freaking hug. I'm just saying people need a hug, you know, shake hands for God's sakes, um, kiss a girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for God's sakes, you know, let's go back to normal. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm not trying to, I'm, this is not going to be political. I'm just going to speak about the situation with what happened with at, at uh, New York city anime convention. And, um, all right, so here it says health officials say an anime convention in New York City last year. It, this happened around, I think, November or October, I think. Right? Last year, it was not super spreader event. It was not a super spreader event. Right? And it says when a person tested positive for Omicron after attending an anime convention in New York City late last year, uh, health, of, health officials raced to determine if the indoor gathering was a super spreader. And um, then it says, if it wasn't the U.S. Uh, U.S. Centers for the Disease Control Prevention concluded Thursday, widespread masking, vaccinations, and good airflow at the Javis at the Javis Center prevent, prevented the highly contagious Omicron variant from spreading widely. Right. So that means that in, an event that takes place in an open place like this, you know, I guess with good air circulation. Uh, it means that it's safe for people to gather around this area because there's good airflow, right? And you can have, you know, thousands of cosplayers and anime geeks in one place, you know, without having to cancel the convention in, in fear that, you know, every, you know, millions of people are going to get sick and die and shit, you know, right? So the investigators found 119 infections from 53,000 people. That's less than 1%. That is less than 1%, guys. Okay? And who attended the event or over three days in November. And I guess the, the person who caught the uh, the, the uh, Pokemon virus, the, the Omnicron evolution, was some guy from Minnesota who went to Anime New York City convention. And he was diagnosed with the Omnicron Pokemon, right? <laughs> I'm trying to make this as funny as possible. Is that Omicron spreads more easily than, than early versions of the coronavirus, the, of the Pokemon virus? Is it and drove a national surge over the winter? Okay, we know that. It says, well, the uh, 
Omicron Pokemon cases were found in the man's small social circle. Other cases turn out to be from older de Delta variant. Okay, so I guess even in his social circle, even in his social circle, like, he didn't... Like, not everybody got the Omnicron Pokemon, right? Some people caught other Pokemon. Some people caught the Delta Pokemon instead of instead of catching the Omnicron Pokemon. That's very interesting. Because you're expecting this to spread in an area w with thousands of people. But it didn't. I mean, at least, at least not to the extent that people were expecting. And it could be a lot of things, right? It said, this large event did not lead to widespread transmission of Omnicron. The investigators wrote, in one of the two studies published by the CDC, the Minnesota man was fully fully vaccinated and had gotten a booster. While in New York's New York, he stated in a vacation he stayed in a vacation rental with three other attendees, was in close contact with about 30 people during a five-day visit. 16 of the men's close contacts got infected, all were vaccinated, and no one was hospitalized or died. This is a miracle. This is a miracle and I mean, hopefully, hopefully this means that we can start going back to normal and more conventions will open up. You, we're, we're not going to see conventions canceling left and right. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to go to um, this year in July to a convention in Texas is because um, in Texas, um, you know, they, they don't have so many restrictions and you know, like, like Texas and Florida, you know, a lot of conventions are still open. I mean, you, should, you probably still got to wear a mask and all that, but they do not have all these requirements. And I, you know, I just want life to go back to normal so that we can enjoy being freaking nerds out in public. <laughs> and yeah, man, that is, I mean, that's going to conclude this video. What, whatever your thoughts are, I mean, tell me what you think. I mean, did you go to anime to New York City anime convention last year in the Javis Center? Right. If you did, let me know. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and uh, this is Andy Matrix, guys. Thanks for watching. Godspeed.